Hey guys, it's uh, been a while since we created a couple tutorials here, so I figured I'd start things back up. Uh, we're going to go through some intermediate stuff. Um, nothing too major or too crazy uh, to start off with. Uh, this tutorial is going to be based off of protocols and delegates and how we can get uh, data to be passed back from one class to another class. So let's just jump into this and get started. So I have the view controller class right here. Uh, just pretty basic when you start up a new project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I already created a classes folder. I'm going to create a new file. I'll uh, we'll make this an NS object and we'll call this class, how about just data? Okay, add that. Okay, I'm going to switch to counterparts here so you can see my header and my main file in one. So we're going to go ahead and set up an app protocol here and we'll call this the data delegate. And I'm also going to use a, uh, a tag here. I'm going to use it optional. So optional means basically we don't have to use or set up all the data delegate calls or functions. Uh, in this case, we don't need them all, so we're not going to use them all. Uh, let's return string. How about that? Okay, so here we set up a basic protocol. We're going to return the string. Now in this class we're also going to need a function. And we'll just call it get string. And we'll also need a property for the delegate itself. So basically how this is going to work is we're going to call this function and then this function is going to tell this delegate right here to return the string that we set up. So we're going to set up that function in the main file. And we'll make a, an ash string, and we'll just call it oh, not a protocol. Hello, the world. And then we'll do self delegate return string str. So now, anytime we generate this class and we call this function, the delegate will return the string from wherever this protocol is. So in this case, it's in the get string function. Now we could move this. Make another function. We could move this to another function. Uh, maybe you want to run some calculations in here and then return that. or you can duplicate it. So you can call it here or there, or you could do self string again, and that's still gonna return this string right here. These are things that I usually use for uh, like XML parsers to return my whole XML sheet or uh, I use them a lot in my API data calls. Uh, so when I call out to my server and bring everything back, I'll end up using a delegate just so I can make the correct calls and return the data in a certain place. So now that we have all this set up, let's go back to our view controller. Okay, and we're going to need to import class data and we're also going to have to set up the delegate and let's also set up a new variable just call it data and in view.load say data is equal to 
class data and let's just initialize that and then data we're going to set the delegate and that's going to be self self because we set up the delegate right here okay now we can take that call the get string call and we can put that pretty much anywhere anywhere in the view controller and we have to also set up our return string or is it string returned let's go back and find out what that was return string okay you can see that auto populates right there so now we have that string and we can NS log that out never likes me when I do that stuff okay so for this we added the delegate we created a new instance we set the delegate of that instance and we call the function get string and we also set up the protocol return function so let's run this see if we get some output and you can see end of the world came back right there in the next tutorial we'll maybe make this a little bit different change it up add some mutable arrays possibly and uh, maybe mess around with blocks a little bit ooh shiny I know all right thanks guys